Hey fam, it is your girl, B1 and B Only Spicy, and I'm here today with another pick a card reading. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm feeling blessed, I'm feeling grateful, and I'm definitely excited to give y'all another amazing reading. So the question that we are gonna be asking Spirit today is how do other people experience your love? So we're asking spirit, how do other people experience your love? So of course, this is a love and romance, you know, relationship read, not for any specific one relationship, but if you wanted to designate every pile to a different person that you dated, that'd be cool. So you could really, you know, go about it however way you wanted to, but yeah, how do other people experience your love? So I'm going to just give you all the trigger warning now because <laughs> I feel like some people be getting in their feelings when they watch these readings and you have to understand that this is how other people perceive you. And it is 100% possible that someone outside of you may perceive you in a different way than you perceive yourself. That's a very possible thing. So trigger warning, I'm gonna go ahead and put that out there, but I'm sure people gonna dislike the video because they just can't take the information. So it just really is what it is um, for my fam. Y'all already know, like, we gonna read on these topics and we gonna have some fun. So, you know, it's entertainment. Don't take it too seriously. But if you know, you know. So <laughs> welcome to all the new viewers and um, a special welcome back to all the returning subscribers. And if you are new to pick a card readings, this is essentially how this reading is gonna go. You're going to look at the three piles that you have in front of you and essentially you're going to choose the pile or even the crystal that you feel attracted to the most. So the first pile we have, we have the uh, final rose tarot with the rose quartz crystal. For pile two, we have um, the modern witch tarot with the citrine crystal. And then for pile three, we have the ethereal visions tarot with the amethyst crystal. So you can pause the video right now if you need to. Go to the description box, scroll down, and you will see the timestamps. And then just go ahead and choose the timestamp that correlates with the pile or even the piles that you've chosen. And yeah, I will see you at your reading, fam. All right, my pile one people. Just let me pull up to my desk. If you chose the final rose tarot with the rose quartz crystal, um, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. But first and foremost, I definitely want to say welcome to all the new viewers and a special welcome back to all the returning subscribers. The question that we're asking Spirit today is how do other people experience your love? So how do they experience it? Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm excited to be doing the reading today. Make sure y'all check out all the links in the description box. There you will find um, links to follow me on Instagram, to book a personal reading with me, to check out my Etsy store where I post my new line of 3D and hand-painted gel press-on nails. And mind y'all, I'm currently running a 20% off sale right now. And um, yeah, you can leave uh, donations if you would like to. There's a link there as well in the description box. Donations are not um, required, um, but I definitely um, do appreciate them. So thank y'all so much. Um, let's go ahead and get started. In addition to the final rose tarot, I'm gonna be using three other Oracle decks here. We have the Archetypes Oracle deck. We have the Wisdom of the Oracle, and we also have the Energy Oracle, just for some additional messages. But yeah, let's go ahead. How do others experience your love? All right, so we have Eight of Pentacles. Page of Swords. And then we have the Two of Roses. I'm going to get some clarification cards. And we're going to get started. Okay. Give me one second. Oh, I feel like 
like when I think about your love and how other people, you know, perceive of it, how do they experience it? I just feel like your like your love is just it's it's well planned and organized and thought out. Okay? It's well planned, is organized, and it's thought out and it's stable. I feel like you're a consistent person. When it comes to your emotions, you're consistent. You're going to, you know, put in work. It's just giving like Virgo energy. So y'all could be Virgos, um, you know, just very meticulous when it comes to relationships. It's like people can, people know that they can rely on you and they know that you do exactly what needs to be done. Okay. <laughs> you give what you needed to give. Like that's the type of person that you are. It's like you're a hard worker you you know ensure that people know through your actions that you actually really love them like and you're someone who is like you're gonna contribute to any type of you know romantic connection that's what you do you're not a lazy lover you're not someone who just feels like oh i just i'm gonna do one thing for this person and and that's it like and then i'll do something for them later it's like <laughs> you know what i just thought it's like giving somebody flowers every three months it's like you're not that type of person like you're someone who is going to be consistent in your actions It's like if you know that for example you're a good cook and your partner loves your cooking it's like you're going to do that consistently because you know that's what your partner likes so you're definitely not a lazy person at all you might be a little messy you a little funny <laughs> you a little funny like you really do say a lot of funny and messy things i feel like as well so you could also be very humorous but i feel like is coming from a good place. I feel like your humor, everybody's not gonna get it, but it's gonna make your partner laugh. So you really do care about, you know, spicing things up. Like not, I'm not saying sexually, but just spicing things up. It's like, you're not a mild and boring person at all. You know, so when other people experience your love, they know that you gonna talk, okay? They know they gotta, <laughs> you gonna have to bend their ear, <laughs> okay? They, they know that, they know that you're gonna talk. Like they could get that from you as well. But I feel like just how stable you are, how consistent you are, and in that sense, very predictable. So when people experience your love, they experience predictability. It's like how experienced, like how predictable you are is like they feel comfortable and they feel safe. So your love is very safe. You know, it's very safe. It's predictable. It's hardworking. It's... uh. <laughs> It's like, um, it's funny, it's humorous. Um, so you, you definitely with the gossip card, you definitely could be, you know, I mean, I know how they be like, oh, people shouldn't gossip, but it's like, you really do be saying a lot of funny stuff. Like you really do. And I feel like when other people experience that humor and that banter, it's like, they know that y'all cool. Cause you really only cut up with that person. You know what I'm saying? It's not to say that you can't be a humorous person in general, but it's like they can experience good times. They can experience laughs. They can experience a certain level of messiness. Like they can experience that. I, Spirit wanted me to say drama as well. So y'all could definitely be very dramatic, have a dramatic type of love as well. But yeah, um, something that came up is like your love actually is very, um, it's very limitless. And I feel like your love is exciting too. It's just the whole idea of just like, <sighs> like I know this person is going to be here for me, but what are we going to do? Like there's some type of excitement that you really do give people um, when it comes to love. Like they really are excited and they're just kind of like what, with the possibilities of what could be. But I just feel because you're so limitless and you're consistent, that really does give people the ability to feel safe with you. And you know, when people feel safe with you, it's like... <laughs> is at that point it's like y'all can really connect on other levels and you don't have to you know just stay focused on the oh can i trust this person so i feel like your love is also very trustworthy because it's predictable in a sense that others know that you will show them through your actions um that you love them and that you also have no issues with reciprocating as well and i feel as though your love is mature it's like your love is very mature and even though y'all could be messy at times and funny, I feel like, like I said, it's coming from a good place. It's like you all are, um, <laughs> you all are just, what I just heard was like, just gifted. Like you have the gift of gab. 
you have the gift of gab and just the way that you speak to people um and you you like to you're curious you're inquisitive you like to ask them questions it's like your love is um i i want to say interesting but it's also like it's curious it's inquisitive like and i think that when other people feel safe with you it's like it gives them the opportunity to want to open up to you and potentially even tell you things that they wouldn't tell other people. But I really think it's just because you, you know, you you tend to ask questions and you're also funny too. Like, you know, very good talker, you know, very much a people person as well. But yeah, I feel like your love is very giving. It's very giving and you definitely show this through your actions. And I feel like with your love, you like to gift, give too. Gift, give. It's like you like to give people things. You like to provide th people with things or with resources. It's like you like to, um, <laughs> it's like even if you, even if you don't have something, it's like you can find a way to get it and to give it to that person. So you give people what they need. Okay, you give people what they need and it's like it's literally right on time. Um, I definitely feel like you do that. And you are like a networker too. It's like a networker type of energy. It's like when you're in love, you just want to help that person. You want to connect them to different opportunities that they feel like they could benefit from. But yeah, it just like you are someone who I feel like when you um when other people perceive your love, they perceive it like that you know, you actually want to have a serious, committed connection with this person because with, with whoever you're dating, like they can experience that. Like they know, like this person is serious. Like, <laughs> you know, this person is serious and they're seriously showing me these things through their actions. So people never have to confuse your actions. I'm saying that because I see the Knight of Pentacles. I see the Hierophant. I also see the Ace of Pentacles. It's like, if this was a relationship reading and like let's say y'all were asking me how does somebody else feel about you like that's serious that's like no this person would see you know they want to get married they want to you know give you an offer of some type of gift like engagement ring engagement ring marriage like you know because the hierophant um can't signify higher commitment so it's just like y'all are serious people like people know like if anybody ever try to play games with you in, in your past it's like they was really playing games for you like they playing games they was really playing in your face because you're serious like you're really serious your love is is serious and they know like can't nobody ever be confused if you like them or not because you show them um through your actions can't nobody ever be confused like they can't be confused you can't be confused like <laughs> so let's get the archetype cards just to see how else people experience your love um so y'all got the dilettante card and the light attributes, delights in the arts without having to be a professional, alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits. So when it comes to this, I just feel like because I see a lot of pentacles energy is like y'all like just taking it back to like you all actually putting in the legit work to be foundational, you know, to actually build a relationship is like that's what people experience with you so you could be planning dates planning get togethers planning fun times like that's you you really do plan and you're very intentional so i just feel as though you all are not superficial people you're very humble people you're grounded people and i feel like that's the best place for you to be because can nobody question if you love them or not like that's really how it is with y'all i know i said that before but i'm serious like no one can ever question because you are completely grounded. You're in reality and you're actually, you know, I don't want to say you're proving yourself, but it's like you backing up what you're saying. Like <laughs> you back up your words with legit actual actions that no one could ever be confused about. Um, <clears throat> Let's get a card from the, what is this deck? This is the sacred energy, <laughs> I think, or no, this is the energy oracle. <laughs> Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. But yeah, um, for y'all, we also got the garden and the gate. Um, yeah, I just feel as though there's a limitless type of um energy when it comes to you, because we have the garden and the gate, and then we also have the I think this is the two of wands right here, like. Y'all are definitely limitless. Like that two of wands card is really just kind of like the world is in my hands type of card. What I just heard was like the world is my oyster. I just feel like, you know, people experience your love. It makes them 
want to get out of their immediate bubble. Like, I don't think that people can say that they have experienced love too often, like what you could potentially give to them. And I just feel as though for some reason, I'm just getting that a lot of people that you encounter are fearful or they're scared, you know, because when I see the garden in the gate, it's just like <laughs> this girl is kind of stuck in her world, but she's looking and there's like a whole vast landscape ahead of her and yes what you have here is fine it's comfortable but then there's a whole world outside of that so what i also heard was a whole new world like i just feel like people that you encounter could be scared and they just don't have they're not comfortable in love they're not comfortable in love but you are you ready like you are ready <laughs> you're ready um, yeah, you're definitely ready. It's giving you're ready for a serious commitment because you're actually ready to put in the action steps and you're actually ready to do what you have to do to build a strong, firm, you know, a solid foundation when it comes to, you know, being in love with someone else, having a relationship with someone else. So it's just like, I feel as though the people that you, you know, that you um, encounter, they may be a little more fearful than you are, but I can definitely say that your love is very patient. Um, your love is very patient and you actually want to collaborate. So your love is also very collaborative as well. Um, like you, you wouldn't mind. It's just giving me three of pentacles. I don't see the three of pentacles, but it's just like, you wouldn't mind sitting down with someone and showing them your plan for, you know, what you would like your life to be or what you see this relationship as being. And, you know, <laughs> for them to actually collaborate and have a say. So your love is definitely very collaborative as well. I just feel like somebody, anybody would be lucky to be in love with you. Like they would be so lucky, like, they will be so lucky, but they got to understand that they deserve this type of love. Now, if you're dealing with somebody and they feel like and they start acting up, just understand that they don't deserve it. OK, because you you do meet a lot of fearful people, you know, and they some people just don't deserve it. Some people just don't. So for you all, um, I'm going to get two cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. But for you all, I got the here and now here and now yeah so when i see the here and now that makes me think about the hour moment card that's in the a divine feminine uh oracle deck the other deck i'll be using it reminds me of that card and it really just talks about being in the present moment and i feel like that's what you do you don't you know you don't stay caught up in the imagination of what could be i don't see you as a <laughs> yo spirit wanted me to say a lying ass person y'all i'm really trying <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> yeah, I really be trying to not be saying everything like, cause, but it just be some stuff that be so funny, but it's like, <laughs> for y'all, it's just like, um, <laughs> you're not really a lying person. Like you're someone who is very much like in the present moment, you're based in reality. Like I mentioned earlier, it's like, you're not someone who's going to future fake. It's like, you're someone who is like, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. This is what's going on. This is the reality. This is what's going on. Like, it's not no imagine, imaginative stuff. We not future faking somebody and telling them what could be. It's like people experience you as you are right now in the present moment. Like, and then we also have to be fair. Yeah, I feel like your love, when I bring it back to just how compromising you are, I feel like this um, backs up that message. It's like, to be fair, it seems as though you are definitely fair lovers. Um, for some reason, I don't get that you, uh, what I heard. Yeah, I don't get that you are um, manipulative when it comes to love. I don't get anything like that. I just really get that you're, you are somebody who you just know what you want but you're actually also prepared to do what you have to do, like for what, what it is that you want. You know that you have to take action steps. But yeah, I just feel as though you're not a unfair person. You don't just only think about yourself, but you also think about the other person as well. There's just a, more of a, it's just a collaborative type of love that you rather have with others. Um, and I feel like you prefer to be like this because it makes you a little more lighthearted. You know, when people just be lying and lying and lying and it just be weighing on their heart and weighing on their heart and weighing on their heart. It's like, you don't want to deal with any of those things. You rather just show up as who you are. 
Um, what I just heard was unapologetically, and that's just that's just you. Um, yeah, y'all are very smart people. Um, very much planners, very much organized. Um, yeah, and very much wise people. I feel like you've had your you've learned your lessons in love, and I just feel like you just not playing games when it comes to love. So I feel like other people do get to experience a really nice and mature and solid um loving foundation when it when it comes to you so yeah um i definitely hope that you all understood this reading i hope that you all resonated with the message and yeah like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next one all right my pile two people pile two people if you chose the modern witch tarot deck with the citrine crystal we're gonna get started with your reading the question that we're asking spirit today is how do other people experience your love so i'm definitely excited about this reading um if you are new welcome if you are returning a special welcome back to you um if you have not yet subscribed go ahead and join the fam because we have fun over here okay we get insightful over here okay we engage with each other over here like this is just a good place to be and i'm just so excited um to even have this channel to be supporting y'all and i'm even more excited for the chant this channel's continued growth that is within my intention is to remain consistent and keep going like so with that being said y'all make sure you check out all of the information in the description box there's links to um follow me on instagram to book a personal reading to check out my etsy store i'm currently doing a 20 percent off sale on press on nails so definitely make sure you tap into that and then if you would like to um leave a donation the link is there as well um donations are not required but they're definitely recommended and appreciated because i definitely want to i'm um, looking to get in some new tarot decks and then also some new crystals so i could switch it up even more okay <laughs> but with that being said we'll get there when we get there let's go ahead and get started in addition to the modern witch tarot deck i have three other oracle decks that i'm going to be using the archetype oracle the energy oracle and the wisdom of the oracle for some additional messages as it pertains to how others perceive you um when they are in love or when y'all are in love like how do they receive your love so let's uh <laughs> let's go okay okay so you have the higher print judgment For y'all, for some reason, I keep getting what I heard was um, sapiosexual, sapiosexual. If you don't know what sapiosexual means, I believe it's when someone is attracted to someone because of their intelligence. So it's the intelligence first that would attract, um, you know, you to someone or someone to you. But <laughs> I'm going to keep going. I'm going to get my clarification cards and then I'm going to go back. Okay, I'm going to get my clarification cards and then I'm going to go back. Sorry, y'all. Let me shuffle properly and get one card. Yeah, so you all, other pe when other people experience your love, they experience empowerment. They experience empowerment. They experience intelligence. They experience, you know, higher learning. Um, something go else going on here with like their intuition it's like they feel more connected to spirit. Um, they experience more synchronicities. So it's just like, it seems like your love is very, it's giving metaphysical, okay? It's getting esoteric, okay? It's giving, <laughs> we up in the 5D. That's what it's giving when it comes to y'all's love. Y'all love is very fifth dimensional, okay? It's not, it's, it's outer worldly. It's not, you know... <laughs> It's not not to say that it's not grounded, but it's just like you really 
Like, I wish y'all could really see me. Like, I can't wait to start going live so y'all could see my, like, mannerisms and my facial expressions. But it's, like, it's really outer-worldly. Like, it's very transformational. It's very, it's just, it's metaphysical. It's very spiritual. But let me get into it. It's just, it's just higher vibrational. That's what I'm trying to say. It's higher vibrational. Like, I feel like somebody, I feel like people are... I just feel like people are very attracted to your type of love, even if they can't understand it. Like even if they're they're uh, um they're not on the same vibration as you, or they don't know as much about spirituality than you do. It's like they still are attracted to that because it's different. Okay, y'all, some of them people. I feel like I feel like somebody told you like, oh, you different, or like you know, or people be like, I like you because you different. Like, oh, you different. Like that's you. It's like you're you're different. Like <laughs> yeah, you're different. You're not like other people. And I just feel feel like your love is just so empowering to other people. Like they feel you you and it's it's knowledgeable and it's intelligent. That's why I keep getting sapiosexual. I feel like people are attracted to you and they want to be around you because of just how smart and intelligent that you are and you always show people another way. So I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if you don't encounter a lot of to if you encountered a lot of toxic people in your past relationship history because they're coming to you for healing. They're coming to you for knowledge. They're coming to you for information. Like, you know, subconsciously on a subconscious level, I feel like people are coming to you for uh, to evolve or to transform people are coming to you to be connected to spirit so it's like your love is very much connected to spirit and i also feel like when people are with you like i said with the synchronicities it's like because you're so connected to spirit it's like they start to experience some you know outer worldly phenomena <laughs> as well okay they start to experience the same thing as well so i wouldn't be surprised if you know um, they started seeing triple numbers or started seeing, you know, synchronicities or, you know, how spirit be talking to us. Spirit can talk to us through, you know, uh, speak to us through our dreams, through triple numbers, through seeing something over and over and over again, um, through listening to, li listening to music, you know, just, Y'all know how spirit be talking, okay? Spirit, spirit be moving in mysterious, mysterious ways, but it's sometimes it's obvious ways too. It's very obvious. So I definitely do feel like your love is very transformational, um, and your love is very decisive. You're not someone who goes back and forth on things. I feel like once you decide that this is what it is, then that person can expect you to be very decided it's like your mind is made up you never go back and forth it's never shaky it's never hot it's never cold like or hot and cold you know how some people are moody and they'll go back and forth it's like you're not a moody lover um that's not who you are um but yeah i feel like with y'all y'all are a very inspirational lover and you're a helpful lover and i feel like you also um you're a motivational lover as well I feel like with your partners in the past, it's like you've, in a way, you've always motivated them to want to have a better life or to feel more empowered and to feel safe or secure within themselves, you know, especially when it comes to money. For some of y'all, some of y'all is giving money magnets, okay? It's giving money magnets. It's like when you come around, it's like that person's luck changes, like they money changes. All types of things change because... It's just giving blessed. When the people experience your love, they experience what it means to be blessed. They experience what it means to actually genuinely be loved. Um, when people like experience your love, it's like they experience just a new opportunity at, at what emotional and romantic fulfillment really means, like from another person. So <laughs> it's definitely giving that. And I feel like when people um, experience your love, they also experience not just empowerment, but also courage and strength and just a limitless attitude where it's just like, I can do anything. I can be anything. Like you really do that. You encourage people. So they experience encouragement through your love. You're always leaning in, looking for the next best opportunity. And especially with this King of Wands card, <laughs> like... It could be it could be a stubborn love too. It could be very stubborn. Um, y'all could, could potentially be it's a my way or the highway type of lovers, but I definitely do feel like when people experience that, it's like 
they know that your way is the right way so they just be like okay you know what i'm saying so y'all could be a little egotistical but i can definitely say it's because you have pride but that pride is based off of actual true empowerment okay so y'all can be my way or the highway type people but i feel like y'all really like that because you're connected to spirit and you've already connected the dots like when you connected to spirit you could connect the dots like you really can connect the dots because you're just getting this um this outer worldly guidance um that is what it is like it is what it is so i definitely do feel as though yeah y'all can't be my way to the highway but i feel as though your lovers understand that and they respect that because 10 times out of 10 you're right you're right um and yeah and i also feel like you just show them um you know just unlimited love um, I feel like you all's love is very unconditional and you just show them that type of love. So they suck it up and deal with your ego and pride. They deal with it. They deal with it, but they only deal with it because y'all, uh, <laughs> y'all's love is so unconditional, um, and just so empowering. Um, but yeah, y'all could definitely be fire signs here. Y'all could definitely be Leos, um, or, um, you could be a Leo, Sagittarius or a Aries, but it's just getting that y'all are at a more evolved place in your life, a little more mature. Um, and you are a lot, a, uh, <laughs> a lot wise, a lot more wise. Okay. I don't know what I was trying to say. Y'all are definitely wise and, and, uh, more mature. So, um, yeah, I just feel like people just kind of deal with that, you know, <laughs> they deal with it because there's so many good things here. And, um, oh yeah, the other thing that had came to my mind, the other message was, is that you all are very loyal and committed lovers as well. So I feel like, you know, people can, can get over, you know, your persistence or maybe at times you can be very stubborn. You know what I'm saying? Maybe at times you can get, it can get really passionate. Okay. They just, they'll just deal with it. So not like passionate, like, oh, you know, you know, sexual wise, not passionate, but it's just like you put a lot of passion and energy into what it is that you do, you know? So some people may not be able to handle that strong of an energy, but I really do feel like because you have this unconditional love and because you are connected to spirit that people would trust you, they would feel secure, they would feel safe with you. But yeah, you're definitely empowering, like you, you, you empower people to rise up, you know? um to <laughs> you know to meet you at your level you do that but i also feel like it's through non-judgment and i also feel like it's through unconditional love that you really want to see people you know rise up like you really want to see people in a sense be like you or be strong like you you know be courageous like you be empowered like you so that's why i'm like i feel like a lot of the people that you've dealt with in your past have had have needed healing and so it's like they're attracted to somebody like you because th this is what you can provide. Now, I would tell you, it's okay to be loyal. This is me telling you, it's okay to be loyal, but just ensure that the people you giving your loyalty to deserve that loyalty, okay? Don't be so quick to, you know, give people loyalty and commitment. That's all I'm telling you, okay? That's my advice for you. <laughs> That's my advice for you. Um... But yeah, let's move on to the oracle cards. Let's move on to the archetype um, to get some more information just to see, you know, what your archetype is when it comes to love and how other people experience you. You all got student, humility and devotion to knowledge, openness to lifelong learning. So yeah. Um, when I see student, that makes me think about the Hierophant as well. And I'm not sure if I mentioned higher learning or education or things like that. But yeah, um, I definitely do feel as though you're not one of those like know-it-all type people, especially with student. That means that you're always consistently learning. And I can understand that because it's like always consistently receiving some type of spiritual downloads, like always consistently being in connection with spirit or receiving those synchronicities, you know, um, receiving those messages. It's like you understand like this is your life especially if you have adopted you know higher vibrational spirituality okay because all spirituality is in high vibe okay especially if you have adopted that um you know particular type of spirituality then yes you would be connected to the 5d you would be connected to the divine because those are higher level vibrations okay you would be connected to that so i just feel as though like when people 
experience your love. They're always in a consistent state of learning because you are always in a consistent state of learning. So you educate others, but at the same time, you're being educated as well. And it just, it, it's always new information. It's always new. So yeah, um... <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and move on. I, I was looking at that King of Wands and I know that the King of Wands can get very passionate in the bedroom, okay? So I was like, ah, just being so shy to say it, but yeah, y'all, so when people experience you, they can definitely, they definitely can, you know, they, they experience that passion when it comes to the bedroom, okay? Put two and two together in your mind and you know what I'm talking about. They definitely experience that and there's a certain type of intimacy that you really do, um, that you really uh, do when it comes to others. It's like, it's just this closeness, this intimacy that you, you know, <laughs> foster when you're in love with another person that makes them think that like they are safe with you you know some of y'all like the cuddle that's something that comes that came up like y'all like the cuddle y'all just like the idea of closeness you like the idea of physical touch you know mm, i'll put two and two together in your mind <laughs> put two and two together <laughs> i just be so shy we talk about things like that i really do like <laughs> on camera like i really do um but yeah but yeah, so for y'all, we have action. So this just makes me think about, because um, especially coming out on top of the King of Wands and then I, um, when I talked about empowerment and just like, you know, motivating people, I definitely feel like this is something that um, confirms what I spoke about earlier. Like you could be definitely a very motivating person um, and someone who's very, a very determined and a very focused person. And so I feel like that comes up when it comes to, um, you know, how other people experience your love. And even with the King of uh, Wands, like he can also signify like an opportunist, but not a ne in the negative sense of an opportunist with how he's always leaning in. So just a good like business minded type of person or just a leader or an influential person. And like I said, it's like you all, it's like you don't want to be unevenly matched with someone. So even if someone you're dealing with someone, but you accept them and you have unconditional love for who they are, it's like you want to inspire them to take some type of action and to motivate them into to empower them to rise up higher okay but i'm gonna tell y'all like i said everyone doesn't deserve your loyalty and commitment okay so make sure you're properly vetting people but for the most part it just gives that you are a very um forward and progressive moving person so your love how others experience that love could be very progressive as well but i know it's progressive when it, especially when it comes down to your intelligence and your consistent state of learning you know you're always learning and in turn you're able to educate others so it's just like it's it's very progressive when it comes to you're a very progressive um lover like you, you just are, <laughs> you are. I wouldn't be surprised if y'all didn't have like five year plans, you know, like a five year plan. Like I already, you know what you gonna do in the next five years. Like you already have your goals written down. You have your vision board. You have all of that stuff. Like I wouldn't be surprised if y'all, you know, did have that. I feel like y'all do. <laughs> so if y'all do have a vision board and different things like that, go ahead and share in the comments what your goals are. Like, because... I mean, whoever deal with you is like, they just can't be lazy. Like they can't sit around and do nothing. Um, They can't, like <laughs> they can't, they really can't. Even though I feel like you accept people for who they are um, and you just want to help, help others um, at the same time, like <laughs> the, when the King of Wands ready to do something, he's going to do it. He's not going to procrastinate. So I feel like, you know, someone would definitely have to be ready to be empowered and have to be ready to, to move like have to be re not move like physically have to get up and move places but get ready to 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 do something you know what i'm saying get ready to do something um but yeah um we got some card well i'm gonna get some cards from the the wisdom of the oracle i was about to be like we got some cards from the wisdom of the oracle but i pulled them we also have exchanging gifts okay so when people um experience love with you they can definitely experience gifts which is amazing so you could definitely be very much a gift giver um i feel like you all are just very self-sufficient um people 
Um, so especially when it comes down to your finances, I feel like you do pretty well. Um, or what I just heard too was like you all um, save, like you will save money. So that's something that came up as well. But I really do feel as though um, other people, you know, they really do like the fact that, you know, you do try to take care of others. It's not just about things being so <laughs> metaphysical and spiritual all the time with you. And I just feel like with this unlimited abundance of just love and emotion um, that you, you know, bestow upon other people is like, it's always something new. And I feel like your gifts don't even just have to be material, but it's really just like, you know, a, a nugget or a gem, or something that you say that changes someone else's perspective. So what I also heard was a wonderful surprise. So you probably do surprise people with gifts as well too. But I just feel as though what you give is like, it's just, it's literally what someone needs. Um, let me get another card. I think a card flipped over i think it did but i don't know i don't know let me keep shuffling all right so for y'all we also got new life new life yeah yeah I, that could be literally be the gift that y'all give other people is a new literally a new life but i was kind of already picking that up anyway because it's just like when if somebody was to come to you for healing they not only going to get healing they're going to get an elevated lifestyle they might get a business opportunity or two okay a business opportunity or two they might learn how to be even more decisive they may learn a lot about spirituality they're going to take away a lot of empowerment and strength and strength and courage um and you know they're really gonna truly understand what unconditional love is so it's just like that is definitely a new life for a lot of people especially if they're not experiencing um any partners like you but yeah like this is amazing you definitely do you know when people experience love with you it's like it's never the same you know it's not the same they <laughs> they don't meet partners like you <laughs> a lot so yeah that's definitely amazing i definitely love the fact that you all really inspire people to want to um to want to you know go up higher or to want to go you know uh, be focused on another vibrational energy a higher vibrational energy like y'all really do a lot to inspire people's actual legit lives and um you know inspire their lives to be better is what i meant to say so that's amazing. I feel like a lot of the gifts y'all give, not just material, but like I said, they're just like spiritual gems and spiritual nuggets that really do unlock a lot of things for people, you know? So I'm definitely, I definitely am excited for you. I'm excited for you because it's like your love is very transform transformational and it's very esoteric. It's like, it's really built in like, you know, the higher dimensions, like the 5D and I really like that, you know, I really like that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right there. I definitely hope that you all were able to resonate with this pile. I definitely hope that it made sense as far as the question. Definitely make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. All right, my pile three people, if you chose the Amethyst Crystal with the Ethereal Visions Tarot deck, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. The question we are asking Spirit today is how do other people experience your love? Okay, how do others experience your love? love so i'm definitely excited um to do this reading this question is interesting i haven't really seen any other readers ask a question like that but i also wasn't looking because spirit told me do this reading so i did it um but other than that y'all let's go ahead and get started i have three other oracle decks out here that i will be using in addition to the ethereal visions tarot deck i have the archetype oracle deck i have the energy oracle and also the wisdom of the oracle make sure y'all check out all of the links in the description box there i have links to 
follow me on Instagram to check out my Etsy store where I post my line of 3D and hand painted gel press on nails. And I'm currently doing a 20% off sale right now. Um, definitely make sure that you all um, book a personal reading with me if you would like to. And then also to donate to this channel if you would like to. Donations are not required, but they are recommended and appreciated um, because I definitely look forward to just expanding this channel by using even more tarot cards and then also being able to purchase some more crystals as well so I can switch it up. But other than that, y'all, we're going to get there when we get there. Okay, I'm excited about this channel's growth. And let's go ahead and get into your reading today. Like, how do other people experience your love? Okay. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. Oh my God. Are y'all lover boys, lover girls? What is this about? What is this? <laughs> Just playing. All right. We have the Fool. And we also have the star, the star. <laughs> For y'all, it's giving couple goals, couple goals, like <laughs> couple goals. Y'all know how the people be like, oh, they're couple goals, like. <laughs> so I really do feel like how other people experience um, your love is, your love is like, it's very... It's not meticulous, but it's like your love is validating. Like your love is very validating. Like in your love, it's like people feel like they're so important. Like you make people feel important. Like you make people feel, you give people a certain level of attention that like is very, um, not only is it intimate, but it's like it makes people feel like you care. You know, you really do show others attention so like that could be within you messaging them or wanting to spend time with them or um you know always talking to them or always connecting with them it's like you know when people um experience your love they experience validation like and they know that you actually really care about them and i feel as though when people experience like your love they feel they feel not only just important to you, but they feel important to others. So I feel like y'all are very, y'all are people who like, people look up to y'all. Y'all are very successful people. Y'all are influential people. You know, people put y'all on a pedestal. So it's like, whoever it is that you're dating, when they're with you, they feel those same vibes also. They feel important to other people. They feel um, successful, okay? They feel like they're up on that pedestal with you as well. Um, so it's just like you make you make those people that you encounter, especially when it comes to love and relationships, it's like you make them feel noticed and you make them feel important. You know, you really do that. You really, really, really do that. Like, and you just inspire so much faith and imagination. Like you are a very future focused type of person a very future forward type of person so it's just like you can paint beautiful pictures of what you see in your mind for the future with that person so people just experience just what i heard was like live life colorfully colorfully they just experience such a colorful and imaginative life like oh the places that we can go oh the things that we can do it's like people experience that with you and you know your love restores faith and trust back to people and hope back to people i feel like before people meet you and they experience your love they feel hopeless or they just feel like, you know, they may not experience anything positive in this world. But then you come along and you make them feel, you know, noticed and you give them attention and you validate them. And you also, you know, 
um, <laughs> you know, want to celebrate success with them. And I feel like some of y'all, y'all the type of people who like, once you get your, you get your partner, you wouldn't mind posting them online. Like if that's something that they were okay with is like, y'all wouldn't mind posting online or even being one of those YouTube couples, like doing couple videos together, like, you know, so it just seems as though you make other people feel important and just how successful and and um validated you are it's like you want the person that is that you're in love with that's in love with you to feel the exact same way you know it's like it's just giving like if you're a successful person it's like you're going to you know want everybody it's just like a diplomatic like type of inclusive type of thing that you have going on where it's just like you want everybody to enjoy themselves or you want everybody to you know uh, feel how you feel, you know, to feel that success or to feel, you know, um, validated or to, you know, it just gives like you're inclusive. And it's like, when you enjoy yourself, you want the person that you're in love with to also be able to enjoy themselves as well. That's you, you know, that's you. And your love is so like romantic. It's so intimate. It's so reciprocal. Like your love is like pure love at its purest form you know and your love it really does free a lot of people you know from anything that they have experienced that was less than um in the past like it really sets people on a new path on a new journey like it makes people happy like it really does like you really do inspire happiness when people experience love with you they really do experience true happiness and they experience enjoyment that's what came to my mind i just it's, i didn't see the three of cups but it gives like three of cups, like success and celebration vibes as well. So, you know, how they experience your love is always something to celebrate. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all are coming up as successful. Y'all y'all are winners. So you're always winning. So there's literally always something to celebrate when someone is connected to you. You're always hitting some type of milestone. You're always accomplishing some type of goal. And that inspires a lot of celebration, you know? But yeah, you all, your love is also very healing. Your love is very enduring. It's very strong. Um, and your love is, it's just, it's multi-dimensional. It's, it's, I don't want to say complex to make it seem like, ah, oh, this is complicated. But it's just like your love is multi-dimensional. Um, and it's never always just going to be, you know, just one thing. It's not like one track minded. It's like your love is, <laughs> it's 3D, you know, it's 3D. Like there's so many different aspects and facets to, you know, your love. It's not boring. It's never boring. It's never, you know, like I said, one dimensional It's never basic. It's never simple. Like it's a lot. But I really do feel like because people enjoy themselves with you and you make people feel inclusive, it's like they're happy and things are fun and they want to be around, you know, especially given coupled with the fact, too, that you're an inspiration. It's like your love is inspirational to others. I also feel as though your love is well balanced as well. It's like you have the ability to balance whatever you have going on with life with love in that relationship with a specific or particular person or whoever this person is like you know whoever these people are it's like you have the ability to juggle your career with being in a relationship you juggle your family with being in a relationship you juggle your goals with being in a relationship like you really can't effort effortlessly balance these things whereas in which a lot of other people may not be able to do that you know how some people be when they get into a relationship they start forgetting everything like you know they start forgetting everything um they start forgetting their other friends they start forgetting their workout plan they start forgetting a whole bunch of stuff and then it's the other side of it too to where it's just like <laughs> so when some people are in love it's like they forget they're in a relationship because they're so independent minded focused on what they got going on it's like you are the person that can yeah you focus on yourself but you also can be focused on your relationship as well you know and I was like, I was getting lover boy, lover girl vibes. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I was getting lover boy, lover girl vibes from y'all as well. 
but I just definitely feel as though like you all can, you know, you all can, you know, achieve the best of both worlds and achieve a holistic life, which also includes, you know, your career, your family, your goals, what you have going on with love with another person. So it's just like people experience a well-balanced love with you and they never feel like, you don't focus on them. They feel like you do focus on them because you just give them a certain type of like attention and validation. You know, it's just kind of the energy of like, you know, when you ever talk to somebody, but it's like they really talking directly to you and no one else matters in the room. It's like, it's just you. I feel like you do. All right, fam. So my camera definitely cut off and I continue to keep reading. Um, I'm so sorry about that, but let's just go back and see if we can just pick up uh, the messages, okay? We'll pick up the messages and we will, you know, see what uh, comes out for y'all. So essentially the last thing that I remember saying was, is that you just inspire people to feel, um, you know, uh, like special to make them feel like they're the only one that really matters because you're intently focusing on them. So that's really nice. I mean, for people to feel special and validated and important to be put like on a pedestal, it really does make people feel happy, especially if, you know, you encounter people who may be insecure who may who may have a low self-esteem. It's like you definitely do encourage people to be confident and not to only just be confident within themselves but confident within what they do in life like understanding that like you know we really only have one life to live so it's like you should put yourself out there you should accomplish goals you should succeed because it feels nice to be validated and to receive attention and to be celebrated after you've accomplished a goal like that's the type of people that y'all are you know i feel like people put you on a pedestal for real if you didn't know people put you on a pedestal they do see you as a star they see you as a celebrity they see you as you know someone who is always accomplishing someone who's always striving someone who's always persevering and i feel as though like when you are you know in love with another person how they experience that love is like they experience that like they feel as though they can do it too like anything you can do they can also do too they feel that as well so there's just a lot of ins inspiration motivation and just like just this special quality um that you really give off to other people to where they feel like not like you're above them or below them, but, you know, to feel like they're right there with you, you know, you really do that. And I feel like y'all are, even though y'all could be extroverts, y'all are also very, you know, intro, introverted as well. So I feel like when it comes to, you know, how others experience their love, your love, they also experience privacy and they also experience respect. So you may be someone who is like, you don't really put your business out there in the streets. You're not very, you know, public with the most intimate details that you experience with someone else because those are private moments that you're having with this person in seclusion. So it's like, I feel as though people um, experience a sense of privacy with you. And that's a very mature, you know, thing to, you know, thing to have is to be, you know, private when it comes to love and relationships, because y'all know it be them people who be having like five, 10, 15 people in their relationship business, you know what I'm saying? And then it just causes drama. So yeah, y'all are very much so people that, you know, it's like, it's going to be private is what I just heard was ain't none of your friends business ain't none of your friends business so people can definitely expect respect when it comes to you and, and some type of pride and loyalty when it comes to you as well but yeah i just feel like when it comes to y'all it's just a certain level of emotional fulfillment that others feel when it comes to you like they feel contentment they feel satisfied um you know, and it's like, yeah, you should feel all these things within yourself as an individual person, but like, it's just even more so enhanced when you're in the picture. So it's just giving me happiness is giving me just like a really bright light. So let's move on to the, um, <laughs> let's move on to the Oracle cards. So for, um, with the, with the archetype deck, we have Don Juan and the light attribute is spotlights your positive seductive qualities. So you all could definitely be very seductive. I know I kept, you know, thinking lover boy, lover girl vibes. Like what is that about? Lover boy, lover girl. But I definitely do feel as though 
um you all make the other person that you're with look good for some reason that came up um like you make them look good so when people experience love with you they experience like you know feeling their best self that's something that came to mind feeling their best maybe they look their best um you know you really do enhance their beauty you know <laughs> you enhance their beauty um and i feel like when they experience love with you it's like they all they also are inspired and encouraged to like i said want to look their best and want to dress their best and want to smell their best but yeah don Juan, <laughs> lover boy lover girl vibes yeah y'all definitely um do you know seduce people and just like i said non Juan is making this woman feel like it's all about her that's something that y'all do as well that's definitely something that y'all do as well so we also have happy family from the this deck is the energy oracle we have happy family here this card right here pretty much reminds me of the the ten of cups so it's really just confirming that as far as like happiness look you see the rainbow is peaceful everybody's just off in the sunset like it's just a really you know um it, it could look a little stereotypical, but it's so ideal. Like, this is so ideal. So I definitely feel as though you do inspire this type of happiness with the other people. And I also feel like when people experience love with you, it, like, it makes them want to, you know, have your child or have a child with you. You know what I'm saying? Have a child with you. Or if you're a woman, for you to have their child. Like, I mean, everybody don't want kids. You know what I'm saying? But it's like that person, when they experience love with you, it's just like, wow, I really love this person. Like, I really want to bring kids into this situation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because even when I look at this Ten of Cups card, it's like, here we have, you know, a couple and they're nursing a baby and they're nurturing a baby. So it's just like, if you're not a parent, I just feel like people really want to have your baby or they want to have a baby with you. Even if you are a parent, it's the same thing. Like, <laughs> that's what they want because they just feel as though that child or y'all's children would just be brought up in, you know, in love and just be brought up in a state of happiness and a state of peace, you know? And they also... When people experience love with you, it's like they also want to be with you all the time. Like they want to be with you all the time. And I'm also getting they potentially will want to live with you as well. But it's like they always want to be in your presence all the time, you know, all the time. So we have a leg up. So, yeah, with a leg up, um, you all, <clears throat> excuse me, could definitely be could definitely exhibit a very supportive type love with a leg up. Um, and I see a star here too. And then I also had this other card where it was go the distance where I see stars here as well. So it's like just making people feel like they're better than how they might perceive themselves. So it's just like, even if someone was insecure or had a low self-esteem, I feel like you could definitely encounter a lot of people, maybe a lot of people that are extroverted, a lot of people that haven't really grown into their sense of personality or confidence. It's like, you would definitely inspire that within them as well. Um, to just persevere and put yourself out there is like, you're you really not gonna know what you can accomplish unless you have that confidence and just to just be like, you know what? And even with the star having that confidence and that faith to just be like you know what i'm just gonna put myself out there and see where it goes but yeah you definitely do encourage people to want to stretch to want to persevere and i definitely feel that you know people experience a very supportive love from you as well like you don't mind helping someone because i feel like you just want in a sense what i heard was like you want people to be just like you like you want people to experience success like you to celebrate like you to be to enjoy life like you like you want people to to be like you they don't have to be you but it's like you understand that there's a better side to life and you want other people to experience that thing as well so i just feel like people like similar to other two pals is like when they meet you it's like they <laughs> it's like they've you know what i just heard was unlock the cheat code to life you know and and they just can expect to just have so much fun and enjoyment with you so i definitely like that um yeah y'all i definitely apologize that your pile was a lot shorter than the other ones it's just that my camera cut out 
and I want to say I recorded this second half like two times already but I would definitely make it up to y'all I apologize for those technical difficulties but I definitely hope that you were able to receive um, some messages and that you resonated with them definitely make sure that you keep it locked um, stay tuned like comment and subscribe